Hello, welcome to Beauty Tip Tuesday. Today I am going to teach you how to do a cream color look. And uh, this look is going to make you look younger. It's going to make you look fresher. It's going to make your skin look dewy and just give you that younger looking appearance. So I find that over time, our skin gets dehydrated, right? That's why it's so important to, to moisturize as often as possible and start as young as possible, right? Um, but as we age, sometimes, you know, our skin, it just gets drier and drier. And sometimes the powders that we use can kind of settle into the fine lines. And so this look today is going to be a cream color look all around from my eyeshadow to my um, foundation and even my cheek color. So I'm going to show you how to put this look together and let's go ahead and get started. So, okay, we are going to start here uh, with, first of all, our CC cream. It stands for complexion corrector. And this is an awesome, um, coverage. I love it because it gives you that hydrated look, but it still gives you some really nice coverage. And I'm going to use it with our blending um, brush, which I absolutely love. And so I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. The color that I'm using today is actually the light to medium of the CC cream. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on putting together my look here using all cream colors. So welcome on <laughs> to beauty tip tuesday and uh i would love to hear from you so comment say hi let me know that you're here watching i hope that you are enjoying these videos um i'd love to hear if there's any tips and tricks you'd like to learn about i'd love to make videos about them my name is margaret by the way <laughs> and uh i love doing these quick little videos for you guys so hopefully you will get a little tip today from, from my look here. Hello. I think I got foundation in my hair. That's funny. Okay. All right. So yeah, you can apply this tinted foundation, um, with your fingertips. And honestly, if I'm in a hurry, that would probably be what I would do, but you want to be careful. Always have clean hands, right? And sometimes the oils on your hands just kind of change the color a little bit and can make it look muddier. Um, so if you're not already applying your foundation with a brush, I highly recommend you do that. It's a, a nice tip and something that um, is really going to be helpful with the blending effect and everything too. So, okay, I'm going to do just a little bit of advanced concealer, um, highlighter and contouring. Are you guys okay with that? I hope so. Um, because these are creams, right? We have our perfecting concealers and I'm going to do just a little bit of highlighter and a little bit of contour contour and just show you how to do that with these two products here. So one is um, for the contour, I'm going to use it's a, a few shades darker than my skin and the highlighter is a few shades lighter than my skin. So I um, have found that a little bit goes a long way. So when you highlight, you want to kind of highlight the center of your face and then you want to contour the outer part. So I'm just going to kind of do like a couple little dots here, kind of just down the center of my face. Oops, just a little bit out there. <laughs> there we go. And then here, I'm going to highlight like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use the contour. So now we're now we're looking fun here. So this now using this little guy here, I'm just going to do like three little dots for the contour. I'm going to put a dot or two up there, up there, right here. And then a couple under here and a couple under here. So you look a little crazy for a moment. But then we blend it out. And we're going to use um, this cheek color brush for blending out this concealer. And I'm actually going to use this finishing spray. Finishing spray is like the magic, magical spray. Um, I highly recommend you spray um, the brushes before you go to blend uh, with the finishing spray. It just gives it more setting power. Um, so that way it just holds better and makes it a little bit more blendable. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start on the outside here with the lighter color first, I'm just going to blend it in. And then I'm going to go back around and do the darker color. So right in the center is where we're going a little bit light. And you'll see, we, we did the um, basic, <laughs> very basic contouring for dummies. I think that was a week or two ago. If you didn't see that, um, definitely check that video out. Um, if this scares you, 
<laughs> to do all this. I don't do this every day, but like this would be, hey, if you're going out for like a photo shoot, <laughs> if you are going to be um, going out on a hot date, then, you know, kind of want to have a little bit of, of dimension, right? Okay, so now I'm going to use um, just a little bit of kind of more of the backside of the brush, just so there's not as much room for the color to spread. I find that that's just a little bit easier, kind of keeps it a little bit more in place. Otherwise, it can get a little crazy. So now we're getting, see how it's just kind of, A, it's warming me up, and then B, it's giving some kind of dimension and contour, which is why we do it, right? So I'm going to do just a little bit here, and then along the jawline. Don't be afraid to do the jawline. You just kind of have to blend it out really well but it's going to give you that skinnier jawline look if you need it you may not if you have a square jaw then you might be just fine but i do not okay and then we're going to blend out this contour here and then the rest of this actually goes really fast so let's just say you don't want to do this contouring i just thought i'd kind of show you like from basic contouring for dummies to this is a little bit more intense contouring, but man, it makes a difference. Like, look at that just right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It does make a difference. And you don't want to just, yeah, try to localize it there and don't get too close to your lips. You don't want to get too close into the center because you want to keep this bright, right? And then keep that contoured on the outside. Okay, so just right there, it's like, whoa, I've got some contouring going on. There we go. Oop. I'm going to try to not let it get too, too high on there because we're going to put a cream cheek color on. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now we are going to use the Purple Nova uh, liquid eye color. I'm just going to do a little dab. I have already put on concealer on my eye okay just as a base so um i love these liquid eyeshadows because they're so forgiving they're so easy to use and you'll see with just this one color how much um just uh, of a what do i want to say a contour contrast that you can get and the purple is really pretty i'm just saying it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm using a cream brush as well from our essentials brush collection. We have awesome brushes and um, I'm just putting it in the crease. That's literally all I'm doing. So there you go. And you want to keep it to the crease. That way the center of the eye here, you always kind of want to keep that lighter. So it helps to make your eye color actually pop. So there we go. So that's the liquid cream, cream uh, eye color. Is that not just like the easiest thing to apply? You can blend it out. Yes, you can use your fingers, but it's better to use the brush, right? There we go. All right, fantastic. Here we go. Okay, and then the last two steps literally are um, going to be, now I have put on, of course, I already have mascara on, my two latest favorites. I'm actually layering these two. It's Ultimate Mascara and our Fanorama. Great combo. Love, love, love those. It coats, it thickens, it lengthens, it doesn't smudge, um, and it just kind of helps to fan out the eyes. I love it. So we are going to finish up now here with our cheek and lip combo. And I just need to get one other thing from here that I forgot to have ready on my table. So we're gonna use this color here called Sassy Fuchsia. Um, and I love this color. There's a new color in our line um, called Hot Pink, which is very similar to this color. So I'm just going to do, oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> you can do it that way. But I think it's better if you actually put, like, put the brush on the lipstick first and then apply it. So let's try that instead. Yeah, because see how much color comes out? You got to be careful. <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that. We're going to blend it out. Blend away. So I'm going just a little bit above where I did the contouring. There you go. All righty. 
There we go. Okay, so now we're coming alive with some color. So that looks fun. And then, um, <laughs> then what we're gonna do is use that same color for our lips and then we're done. So that is our cream color look. This is Sassy Fuchsia, yeah. So I'm literally doing the same color that's on my cheeks, on my lips. So cream all around, pretty simple. So whenever you're in a pinch, you need a little bit of color, use your lipstick just to kind of give your cheeks a little bit more dimension there. So, all right, so let's kind of do that and do that. So what do you think as I stand back? Now I'm under some pretty serious lighting in here, but um, I wish you guys could see it. I hope it looks good on the camera, but it looks really good in this mirror. <laughs> So I hope it looks as good there. But anyway, I'll try to take a take a still shot too, um, so you can see it. But can you see though with the with the concealer just how a little bit of that just gives you some more dimension um, for the contour and highlight aspect, and everything else is creamy. My skin feels amazing. It looks fresh. It looks dewy. Um, so I'm loving it. So I don't know. I think you should try it, right? So let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and if you love this video, found a few tips helpful, please type them in the comments so I know which ones were helpful and then pass this on to a friend. And I appreciate you watching and I will catch you next time. Um, May 16th, FYI is going to be our summer product reveal. So I'm super excited to be sharing with you our summer product line that's going to be coming up in a couple weeks. So have a great one.